want to do anything, we want to work with the sheriff. We want to work with the constituents. We want to, to build a relationship where everybody can have the, the issues taken care of. Where people can go get permits, they go through the background checks, go through the training, get everything done. We in Orange County have a different philosophical attitude about life in general, about, just look at the differences between the counties. You think she's a good fit? Well, I think she's having problems grasping what's going on with Orange County. I think she's, she's coming to understand now how those of us in Orange County feel. I think there's a long way for all of us to go, but I think we need to build the bridges. We need to talk to each other. We need to sit down and work all this out. I was willing to give her a chance when she first came into office. Um, it was a new opportunity. We had our first female sheriff, and uh, it was a change from the previous administration and a chance to get away from the perception of corruption that pervaded the uh, department before that. And so I was hopeful, but seeing the way she's acted, apart from just the CCW issue, but with uh, these strong-arm tactics of trying to intimidate citizens, of snooping on the private notes of the supervisors, and the, these text messages where they show utter contempt for citizens who are just coming here to speak their minds and address their government, which is their First Amendment right. They have utter contempt for that, and this is the typical Los Angeles mentality, Los Angeles the Sheriff's Department mentality that she has imported here, and I don't think that is a good fit for Orange County. Ar just arbitrarily revoking them because they don't meet good, her new good cause. I think there was certainly a show of intimidation in January at the meeting. Um, she, she brought in the SWAT team. Um, she brought in undercover officers. That is completely inappropriate in a public forum. Um, it's not appropriate to try to intimidate people that are here to exercise their First Amendment rights and speak to the board. Everyone is very upset. Um, she's revoking permits for no reason from people that haven't broken any laws.